All right, welcome back again for this evening. I just picked this up off the uh, newswire, but Mark Shuttleworth, the founder of Ubuntu, was on the BBC earlier today, and he spoke about, among other things, being on the International Space Station. Cool trip. And talking about Ubuntu, this is from the OMG Ubuntu website. Let's go through this briefly and see what he had to say. So let's see here. Uh, BBC Business Life, Susanna Streeter and Sally Boondock. And they interviewed him. Let's see. Uh, introducing him as one of the world's most influential tech thinkers. I thought that was me. Just kidding. Uh, outspoken advocate of open source software. Okay. Uh, let's see here. So he visited the ISS, the International Space Station. Uh, let's see. Getting back to Ubuntu. He cites, Mark cites his love of technology and entrepreneurship. And the role open source had played in allowing, him, in allowing him to become such a success at a young age as being a catalyst and says he wanted to enable other people all over the world to build interesting things. Okay, so he created Ubuntu. He created Ubuntu as a way of making open source easy to consume for both business, scientists, and researchers. Uh, the hosts go on to ask him to explain what Ubuntu is and why it's special. Most people are familiar with Windows, and Ubuntu is like Windows. Not anymore, at least. Uh, well, it's look, Ubuntu is Linux. It's not really Windows. Uh, when they had the GNOME 2 desktop interface, I thought it was easy to learn coming from a Windows environment. Unity was a little bit more difficult, and GNOME 3 or GNOME Shell, the latest switchover, it's not Windows. Uh, but let's move on. Uh, the magic of Ubuntu is that it doesn't come from one organization. It represents the innovation from thousands of different companies and individuals. And uh, our job is to pull this, to pull all of that together and make it easier to consume. I will have a link for this below in the show notes. Let me just say that, and some of you guys know, um, if it wasn't for Ubuntu, I probably would not be here. My first exposure to Linux... Uh, was Ubuntu over 10 years ago, and that's probably the main reason why I am here talking to you guys as a Windows and Linux dual booter. So check out the interview. If you live in the UK, you should be able to watch the entire interview from the BBC. It doesn't work here in the United States. Boo! Anyway, that's all I have for this one. Uh, I'll catch you on the next one. Take care.